It was quite an emotional, uh, emotional moment when I crossed the line in, in Brazil. Just really thinking about what I achieved and looking back to the past and, and how much I'd worked and how hard I'd worked to, to achieve that. Racing for 21 years to achieve my goal, which was to be world champion. So it took a while for it to sink in, but when it did, it was a very special occasion. I don't see it as a, a season to forget. For me, it was a great experience. I learned a lot, um, and I, I've been taking basically all the things I learned in that year into this year, so it makes me actually a strong, stronger person and stronger driver. I feel very good that, it's, that he's in the team. He's, he seems to have um, blended in really well, working very hard. Our relationship is growing and we're getting on really well and he's, he's doing an incredible job in the car as well. It's great to be racing alongside Lewis and I think we can learn a lot from each other. So far over testing, we've been sharing a lot of information that's been working for us quite well. He's an exceptional driver, I think. You know, he's, he's achieved a lot in the sport in, in a very short period. And he's also had difficult times. And I think that's important for, for a driver and, and, and an individual. You learn from your mistakes and, uh, and you become a stronger person. It's feeling really good compared to uh, 2009, at the beginning of the year when we were testing in Barcelona, the car was terrible at the time. And we had a lot of work to do to try and catch up through the whole season. That's where I feel we're in a much stronger position this year where we can compete with you know, top running guys, but we have a lot of work to do to try to get ahead of them. Testing's been going well, you know. It's, it's always very difficult because you're doing all this setup work with, with the basic car and you're thinking it's not quite what I want and I'm not entirely happy. And then you put the package on and, and the downforce on and suddenly the car is stuck to the road and it feels what you expect. I feel very ready going to, to Bahrain with what we have and I don't think there's an area really that we, we're weak in. I think at the beginning of the season, it's not about being confident you can take a championship. It's just being confident that you prepared yourself in the best way possible, and then you take it day by day, and race by race. It's really difficult to know who's going to be our main rivals because the Ferrari's been quick in winter testing. Fernando is an exceptional driver. Also, Felipe Massa. And Michael Schumacher's back and he's got Nico Rosberg alongside him, who's competitive. The Red Bulls will be quick. I even think the Salvers will be quick. So there's so many cars out there that I think are going to be at the front fighting for race wins, and that's, that's great for the sport, and I think it's, it's great for everyone involved. Definitely looking forward to it. The last test is now passed, and then the next time we'll be in the car with the first race. So. I'm extremely excited. I'm looking forward to seeing how all the cars perform and exactly where we are compared to our competitors. Going to the first race, um, I know it's a challenge for me. You know, this is, this is a new team for me and it's going to be the first proper race weekend for us. So it's, it's all new, but I'm confident that I can, I can do, uh, do a good job in Bahrain. Definitely my phones. I have two phones, I have a Blackberry and I have my iPhone. Um, the iPhone is probably the coolest simply because you also get to play your music. For me, it's because I'm traveling all the time, it's very hard to keep in touch with everyone, keep your friendships going, your social life active. So the best way for me is, is you know, taking pictures, sending them to friends. I couldn't really live without it. 